Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle was today spotted back in Britain for the first time since her split from the royal family was revealed. The Duchess of Sussex was pictured smiling as she left the boring hotel in Westminster ahead of her first royal engagement since quitting the firm. In a chic camel coat and $800 Aquazura black heels, the former actress appeared in good spirits, despite the tumultuous few weeks that saw her and Prince Harry move to Canada. After their dramatic announcement, they would become financially independent in January. The sighting comes just hours before Meghan is expected to join Prince Harry for a bash celebrating the sporting achievements of wounded servicemen. But she is believed to have left Archie behind as she flew in from her new home in North America, with no sign of the nine-month-old baby boy this afternoon. Harry was spotted leaving the London Hotel just moments before his wife stepped out this afternoon. The smiling Harry wore a blue suit as he walked down the street as a concierge held an umbrella over his head to avoid the rain. The Duke had returned to the UK last week to begin his final round of royal engagements before the couple officially leave the royal family on March 31st. The Duke of Sussex was yesterday spotted waiting as he left Buckingham Palace. Another analysis. Former royal bodyguard discusses threats. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will likely still face following Mixit when Prince Harry and Meghan Duchess of Sussex officially stepped down from the role within the royal family, they will face a whole new set of challenges even they couldn't have predicted. One of those involves their security detail. As senior royals, the pair always had protection officers with them, which was funded by the taxpayers. But when they leave royal life behind, having that luxury will fall on them to pay for, and that could present another problem going forward. But former royal bodyguard to Harry's family had to say about the security risks, plus who will pay for the Duke and Duchess's protection post Megxit. Canada will stop paying for the couple's security after Megxit. Currently, Canada is taking care of Prince Harry and Meghan's protection and has been for the past few months. However, that will change soon. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police have been engaged with officials in the UK from the very beginning regarding security considerations. As the Duke and Duchess are currently recognized as internationally protected persons, Canada has an obligation to provide security assistance on an as-needed basis, Public Safety Minister Bill Blair said. The assistance will cease in the coming weeks in keeping with their change in status. Former Royal Guard says Meghan and Harry could face serious risks. Former Protection Officer Simon Morgan, who worked as a bodyguard for the Royal Family from 2007 until 2013, spoke to Insider about the problems that could arise if Meghan and Harry go with a private firm following Megxit. Morgan stated that Royal Protection Officers have up to six months training when transitioning from the police while those at a private firm only have to do a two-week course. He explained that there could be serious risks to the prince and former actress if they don't get the right security detail. Protection done well is a lifestyle choice. Not many people have experience dealing with members of the royal family, Mormon noted. It's not as though any old private security company could work for them. They wouldn't have the experience or contacts to work at their level. And in terms of the threats the Sussexes may face, the former bodyguard now working as the director of operations and training at a private security firm himself added, the threat will remain constant. In regards to political and religious terrorism, the threat remains the same as before. However, the two-day threats in regards to intrusion whether that be from ordinary people or the media, may increase. Who will pay for the Sussexes' protection when they step down? So with Canada refusing to pick up the tab, who will pay for the Sussexes' security when they're no longer senior royals?
There have been rumblings that the hefty costs will be paid for by Harry's father, Prince Charles. Other reports claim it will fall on the British taxpayers again until a permanent protection plan is in place. However, the palace will not comment on security matters. What is clear is that the couple will continue to have a security team after they officially step down on March 31st. It is agreed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will continue to require effective security to protect them and their son, a statement on their website read. This is based on the Duke's public profile by virtue of being born into the royal family, his military service, the Duchess's own independent profile, and the shared threat and risk level documented specifically over the last few years. In other news, Prince Harry leaves Buckingham Palace after discussions ahead of Meghan Markle's arrival in UK. The Duke of Sussex waved to well-wishers outside Buckingham Palace this afternoon as he was driven away in a Range Rover following a series of internal meetings as he prepares to step down as a senior royal. Prince Harry held discussions with his team as he waits for his wife Meghan to arrive in Britain imminently for their final round of engagements before they leave their role at the end of the month. The Queen was also at the palace today as she carried out one-to-one -one audiences in her London residence with the Cuban ambassador and president of Malta. It is not clear whether Harry spoke to the Queen today, three days after they had his heart-to-hearts for four hours in her private apartments at Windsor Castle about his imminent departure from the royal family. Harry is said to have requested the meeting, and the monarch, who last saw her grandson during their showdown at Sandringham in January after Harry broke the news that he and Meghan were quitting, was happy to agree. The Queen is believed to have told her grandson that she was keen to keep the door open for him and Meghan to return, and stressed that he would be welcome back from Canada at any time. Harry scheduled the meeting, he always tries to pop in and see her for tea when he's at Frogmore and she is at Windsor Castle. Harry, who has always enjoyed a warm relationship with his grandmother, was apparently keen to clear the airs before he and Meghan formally stepped down as working royals on March 31st. He has been staying at Frogmore Cottage, the couple's home on the Queen's Windsor estate, since returning to the UK last week to undertake a handful of final official engagements. He and Meghan have agreed to pay back $3.1 million in taxpayer funds used to rebuild the property in light of their decision to relocate to North America. It is understood that he and his grandmother shared a light lunch and tea as they discussed his future. A royal source told we, the Queen had a lot to talk to Harry about, and this was the ideal time for them to both say their piece. The Queen was left deeply upset after Harry and Meghan decided to suddenly announce their plans to step down and move abroad in early January in an apparent effort to bounce the royal family into agreeing to their demands to retain the trappings of royal life while pursuing independent commercial careers and the couple were taken aback when Buckingham Palace made clear its displeasure and insisted that Harry would have to relinquish his HRH title as a non-working royal and hand back their official patronages and his military positions, as well as dropping their plans to market themselves as Sussex royal. The source said, Sunday was the first time the Queen had the chance to talk to Harry on his own and really find out what his plans are. It was a much more relaxed environment, and they were both able to speak their mind. Another report. Kate Middleton showed off her Gaelic sports skills in Ireland, stilling William's thunder after he impressed with his juggling. The Duchess of Cambridge tried her hand at Helen as husband were watched on during an exciting last day of their island tour. Kate even grabbed a Gaelic football, having a kickabout with some local kids this afternoon. The Duchess seemed comfortable on the field, having previously competing in rowing, swimming and tennis while growing up. While Prince William did his best to keep up, Kate lit up as she chatted with local youngsters and hit balls across the field while hailing in Galway. The mum of three appeared to be in her element, 
as she played with the little athletes at Salt Hill Nokkora GIA club after changing into black trousers and a warm coral jumper. It comes after William himself impressed crowds as he deftly juggled three balls in front of stunned artists and musicians. And while the future king appeared nervous at first, the crowd burst into spontaneous applause as he managed to keep three balls in the air for several seconds. The 37-year-old then tried to juggle with four balls, but wasn't as successful as the objects went flying chaotically into the air. And Kate, who Elia embraced Green for her last day in an island, in a stunning Susanna polka dark Maxi dress, laughed at her husband's antics. Their final day had initially been delayed by bad weather with their flight, put back by at least 30 minutes due to fog in Dublin. But despite the hold-up, the couple dimmed as they conducted their last engagements before meeting members of the public, shaking hands with dozens of people without gloves. It comes after a busy two days for Kate and William, who yesterday threw their support behind mental health and social justice charities. And they have seemed in good spirits, as they got involved in everything from ping pong games to cooking vegetable soup during the tour. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell. If you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.